thousands of reported cloned Facebook accounts. Several government agencies are now probing what experts believe is more than just a technical snafu. But one cybersecurity expert warns, finding the perpetrators is more difficult than it seems. Shaila Francisco with the story. Over the weekend, Facebook users flooded social media to complain about the duplicator dummy accounts on the platform. Most of the accounts do not have details or pictures. Format of the links to these profiles are also similar. Sam for one discovered on Sunday that she has 13 duplicate accounts, some of which are still active despite being reported by her friend. I was thinking that maybe my name is common, parang wala lang, and then I realized Actually, I'm quite vocal about politics and whatnot on social media. Then I thought, this could, imp this could be bad for my name. What if the person shares something na parang that aren't my feelings or they try to get money? Some students also reported that their duplicate accounts are now messaging them and tagging them as terrorists. The College Editors Guild of the Philippines is convinced that this is related to the anti-terrorism bill since most of the victims are students who are vocal about their opposition. Nababanggit kasi dito yung ano eh, yung mga political na usapin. We see this as something na coordinated attack talaga na it's na to ini-intimidate ba kumbaga yung mga students to not speak up regarding this issue. Tapos ano ren, uh, it's a form of intimidation and ay nga pagpapata tinatari nila ang ipatimikan a cybersecurity expert explains that while it's easy to create duplicate accounts, it will be difficult to identify the perpetrators in the intent since the accounts created show very little information. It's not uh, something that we would say requires, uh, hindi po siya parang hacker type na yung pinaka straightforward kung iisipin natin is you get a group of people together, look at Facebook profiles, and do it manually. So definitely yun po, logistically speaking, if you have the right number of people, madali lang po. Anyone with a, there are also other ways to do this that involve some level of uh, parang programming. Yo automate natin yung pagkuha ng personal details o kaya naman kung galit sa isang external database, transferring that to uh, Facebook accounts. Gutierrez says the perpetrators may have gotten the information from an existing database or from a Facebook activity since Facebook is linked to a lot of applications and services. In the meantime, the best thing to do is to report any dummy account immediately. We need to exercise caution and assume for the moment na na dun yung possibility na na-compromise yung identity nila. I'm almost certain there's something common dito sa mga... Uh, profiles na nagigaya. Ang common dito is may mga ginamit silang apps or service. Baka may mga na-visit silang website or na click na links recently. Gutierrez advises social media users to check their privacy settings and to refrain from using the same password. You could also protect your identity through limiting details posted online, being careful in adding Facebook friends, and monitoring all the links in the applications used or clicked on social media. As of Sunday night, the DOJ Office of Cybercrime received 112 reports of dummy or duplicate accounts. This could increase since some have two or more dummy accounts. They are also coordinating with Facebook to preserve data pending investigation. Computer-related identity theft under Cybercrime Prevention Act is one of the violations being looked into. Shaila Francisco, We Are One News. The National Privacy Commission or NPC believes the proliferation of dummy Facebook accounts is not a mere technical glitch. In an interview with One News' Agenda, NPC Commissioner Raymond Liboro said there seems to be a systematic effort put into the creation of imposter accounts. Both the Justice Department and the Philippine National Police have ordered an investigation into the matter. In a statement, Facebook says fake accounts that fail the company's authenticity checks will be removed. Several Facebook users, mostly coming from academic institutions, have complained of the emergence of clone accounts bearing their names. We would really uh, like to know the extent and depth of this uh, activity. I was asking them earlier if this has been uh, you know, something that has been common. Uh, we know that imposter accounts, dummy accounts, and even cloning is, uh, you know, one of the regular risks or threats that uh, we encounter in Facebook. But mm -hmm. uh, is, this, uh, is there a systematic uh, effort on this one? Uh, these matters are still to be determined. 
For its part, Malacanang Nick speculations that the government is using the fake accounts to go after its critics. Presidential spokesman Harry Roque singled out Bayan Muna Representative Carlos Zarate, who warned that the fake profiles might be a prelude to a crackdown once the anti-terrorism bill is enacted. If Congressman Zarate has the evidence, file the corresponding charge. Pero sa panahon po ng pandemya, sana iwasan na yung mga gantong conclusions na wala namang ebidensya. But of course, no, the courts and the fiscal's office are open. Kung talagang ganyan ang tingin niyang nangyayari, magsampa po siya. Pero for now, sapat po na ating uh, Privacy Commission is investigating the matter. And I think the NBI is also um, investigating this matter. Dahil